For the prophecy came not, prophecy telling you things that is going to happen in the future, came not by the will of man, by the impulse of man, by the whims and fancies of man, no. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. As the Holy Ghost moved them, tickled them, they wrote what they were told to write. And so the whole Bible is from God. Because the Holy Ghost tickled these writers to write what they wrote. I want your judgment. Does God Almighty command His emissary, His prophets, to do shameful things? Will He? And He has it recorded in His book. This is the prince of the prophets, prince of the prophets, according to Shorosh. Isaiah, he calls him prince of the prophets. His book, the book of Isaiah, he calls it the fifth gospel. If there are four gospels in the New Testament, this you can be added and make it the fifth gospel, according to Shorosh. This prince of the prophets, this is what God does to him. At the same time, speak the Lord to Isaiah. God spoke to Isaiah, the son of Amos, saying, Go and lose the sackcloth from thy loins. You know the sackcloth that you're tying? Untie that. And put thy, off thy shoes from thy foot. And he did so, walking naked and barefoot. A prophet of God, for three years, he's walking up and down the streets of Jerusalem or wherever he was, absolutely naked, not even a G-string. Can you imagine God giving such instructions to his prophet, his emissary? Go out, walk, and three years in front of his mother, in front of his daughters, sisters, everybody, he's walking, a prophet of God, one of the mightiest of the prophets of the Bible, he's walking naked for three years. And the Lord said, like as my servant Isaiah had walked naked and barefoot three years, so you also, we're going to make you to do the same. And speaking language like this, God talking, said, behold, I will corrupt your seed. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 3. Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces. You know what's dung? You know what's dung? Use excreta. Yes, God Almighty is going to spread dung on your faces. Even the dung of your solemn feasts. And one shall take you away with it. Malachi 2, 3. And thou shalt eat it, telling another prophet of his, another prophet of God, Ezekiel. God tells him, chapter 4, verse 12 of Ezekiel, he says, And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes. What? And thou shalt bake it with dung that come out of man in their sight. What you see, fresh dung, fresh excreta with barley cakes. You shall eat it. This is, the, this is God Almighty telling his prophet to, to eat barley cakes with and fresh dung too, fresh.